before yesterday. What happens to that? Second, there were young people who were killed during the demonstrations. What do you speak of that as the head of state? Thirdly, how do we move forward on the budget cuts, especially now that you've said that uh, we're going to have austerity measures, yes, but how then do we secure development? Thank you very much. Please. No, no, it's okay. So, I, um, I have said young people, six to be exact, six people yesterday lost their lives. Very unfortunately, they shouldn't have lost their lives. And I have said it is a very unfortunate situation. I wish that would not have happened. And there is a framework that will make sure that those six Kenyans who died yesterday will be accounted for. Number two, I did promise the country that there will be no extrajudicial killings going forward. And ever since I came into office, there is not one incident of extrajudicial killing. What you said about abduction are statements that were attributed to some of our civil society groups, but all the people they mentioned are, have since been found in police custody, and those that were already processed were already released. On the matter of development that you have said, minus the finance bill, it means that some of the development programs amounting to 200 billion shillings, we will have to cut down, to delay them. They will have to wait, some of them, for next year. We will try it again. Uh, we will try next year to find some money. Some of them um, we will have to uh, cancel because that's the nature of things. And it is because uh, the people of Kenya have spoken loudly that they want a leaner budget for us as a country. Question number two. We'll take the next question from Busara, K24. Nam, so lang la kwanza ni ni wazi kwamba matumaini ya vijana wa Gen Z na baadhi ya wa Kenya kwa wabunge yamepungua kabisa ama hata yamepotea. Kwa hivyo kama rais unachukua hatua gani kuhakikisha kwamba tunawahusisha vijana katika maamuzi muhimu hasa katika masuala ambayo yanalenga taifa ama ujenzi wa taifa. Swali lingine Je, yeah, utahakisha vipi uwazi katika mpango wako wa kupunguza matumizi serikalini maana yake umesema kwamba kuna austerity measures je yeah, kutakuwa na transparency na swali la mwisho ningependa kujua kama pengine kutakuwa na fidia kwa wale ambao walifariki au kwa familia kwa wale ambao walifariki hapo jana na je yeah, serikali itasimamia malipo ya wale ambao wako hospitalini hivi sasa wanapokea matibabu kutokana na majeraha waliopata hapo jana asante thank you very much um, about 214 Kenyans were involved in various skirmishes, and many of them went to hospital. 95 of them were treated and released. Some of them, um, I think one is still in ICU, and others, I think 14, a minister is here, uh, are still in hospital. But majority of them were treated and released yesterday. As I have told you, on those who um, lost their lives, there will be a mechanism of how they will be accounted for. On the young people uh, whom you have said, how do we listen to them? Let me say the following. Number one, I did make a very clear 
determined program to create opportunities for young people to work. It was in our manifesto. It is in my plan. As I talk to you, three of the programs are going on. The housing program today has 160,000 young people working. 